my name is Dawn Light and I study cybersecurity at Carnegie Mellon University and in this video I will be sharing my experiences studying. So the official name for my program is called Masters of Science in Information Technology Information Security and I am doing the applied three semesters program which it requires an internship to graduate. So this program allows you to spend two semesters in Pittsburgh and one semester in Silicon Valley. And the Silicon Valley campus is really interesting in that it is located in NASA's um, NASA Ames Research Park. Um, I think it's supposed to be a military base in which that's pretty cool. Um, so they have guards in front of the gate checking every, uh, checking every person's ID, making sure that nobody who's not supposed to be there doesn't get in. Um, and I see turkeys on campus. Um, and that's, um, it, it's a, it's a small but, like, really beautiful campus. A lot of the classes from Silicon Valley is broadcasted from Pittsburgh, but there's one course, um, a lot of people take from Silicon Valley campus in my program, which is the practicum, um, in which the students are partnered with a company to work on a project together. Um, I worked with uh, Stanford's National Accelerator Laboratory and the cultures for two campuses are uh, significantly different in which that for Pittsburgh campus you see all these people are grinding on the student floor um, staying up until like 8 or 10. Uh, you can see the student floor still has a lot of people but once you um, but in Silicon Valley campus once it gets to a little bit dark, maybe like four or five, you don't see anybody on campus. So that's an interesting comparison. Um, uh, there's also a lot more to do in Silicon Valley campus. Um, we hung out, like me and my friends, we hung out all the time um, after school. Uh, but for Pittsburgh campus, because of the culture in there, uh, people hang out in student floor, uh, probably doing homework or anything, something like that. And um, definitely really interesting. And the courses offered in my program, most of them are heavily technical. I remember needing to take an um, introduction to information security class uh, in which you do have to code and um, the course is still very CTF based, uh, it's very hands-on. You, your homework is CTF problems, um, but the course content um, what the professor teach in class um, is conceptual what? It's conceptual and challenges you to think. Um, I really enjoyed taking that course because my professor is really passionate. Um, so I particularly enjoyed taking courses with her. Um, and other ones I remember are Fundamentals of te uh, Telecommunications. It's a networking course and uh, Cyber Risk Modeling, which qualifies for a business class. And the course I particularly enjoyed was Applied Information Assurance because the course taught me a lot of different security tools. We used Kali Linux and um, a lot of tools like Metasploit, Indian Firewall, Snort, um, are in the labs uh, in which they give you walkthrough instructions on how to do them. So I really learned from the attacker and defender's perspective. And uh, at the end of the course, we are supposed to write our own labs um, for the future uh, students for this class. So I really enjoyed that course. Beyond courses, there are a lot of uh, really cool things um, that I explored from CMU. Um, PPP, Plot Parliament Pony, is the world's best hacking team. And they're composed of CMU students and former CMU students. Uh, we do walkthroughs of CTFs and do CTFs together um, from a me weekly meeting. I really enjoyed going to their meetings because their people are really nice. And a beginner-friendly CTF, Pico CTF is also developed by CMU. Myself included a lot of my friends before we even joined 
CMU played Pico CTF, and that's our first introduction to cybersecurity. And after my friends joined C Pico CTF, um, after they joined CMU, started writing problems for Pico CTF. I, I think that's pretty cool. Another really cool resource that CMU has to offer is Scilab Security and Privacy Institute. They have all kinds of different security research over there. Anything that you can think of, probably even anything even remotely related to security, they probably have a research or something going on. Um, and you students can apply to be a security researcher assistant in for Scilab, and you can work with a professor to work on a security topic that interests you. And regarding career development, I roughly wanted to talk about two points. One is internship and then another one is full-time job replacement rate. Um, as far as internships, um, I think a lot of people do get internships, at least um, everyone around me got an internship. And then if even if you don't get one, the school will uh, kind of help you get one with, internally with the school. So uh, at least you get some kind of experiences. I would say most of people get jobs and internships. And CMU also has a really strong network in the security industry. Um, a lot of CMU alumni uh, who graduated from CMU end up going for security after they graduate are now uh, managers, um, upper management, CISO uh, in the industry. So being able to uh, say that uh, you graduated from CMU cybersecurity is definitely a nice to have in terms of networking um, for the future too. So I talked a lot about the pros for the program, studying cybersecurity at Carnegie Mellon, but I also wanted to talk about the cons. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is the tuition. The tuition is no joke. It's really, really expensive. Um, I think for my program, it is 26, 27K. Per semester. And it's three or four semesters for the entire program to finish. And that's, we're looking at roughly 80K um, for the entire program's cost. That's excluding room and board. And another con I would like to talk about is the stress. A lot of courses offered at CMU have a huge workload and they're difficult in my opinion. Um, so if you want to enjoy your life, would recommend study somewhere else. But if you really wanted to like really just study and enhance yourself, um, CMU might be the good choice for you. So that is my experience is studying cybersecurity at CMU. Let me know if you wanted to ask about anything. Happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, until next time, bye.